Hi everybody, my name is Jordan. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am gonna be going through a two mile indoor fat burning walk. Um, it's gonna last about 30 minutes today. Um, we've got, I think like 25, 26 different moves that we are going to be doing. You'll work for 40 seconds and you'll get a 20 second rest to follow that where we're just gonna walk in place. And that's actually what I'm gonna have you start with today. So you can start walking with me here. We're gonna get a nice solid two minute warm up in before we start in on your first move. So nice thing about today's workout, it'll go nice and quick um, because we're never repeating anything. So as soon as we do one move, you can knock that off the list and we'll move on to the next one. So again, we'll work for 40 seconds, then you'll get 20 seconds to recover. This is going to be your recovery position right here. Just walking in place and you can make that as high intensity as you want. If you're a beginner, maybe you need to really slow it down, take the knees down a little bit lower. If you're more advanced, maybe you even want to run in place in between during our rest period. So you can make this as hard or as easy as you need to today. All right, we're gonna warm up those shoulders a little bit. Nice big arm circles forward. Go ahead and reverse that. All right, crossing those arms out in front of you, warming everything up. All right, let's take those knees up a little bit higher. Start to engage through that core. We're gonna get going here in about 30 seconds. And I will always just start in our move, on our move right when that time starts. If you need to watch me for a few seconds before you join in, that's totally fine. You just join when you're ready. All right, walking in place again. We're gonna get going here in 10 seconds. All right, first move, you're gonna do a little up and over movement. Three, two, one, just like this. High knees, up and over. So the bigger you make this, meaning the higher you drive those knees up, the more that heart rate is gonna shoot up as well. So you can even imagine you're trying to step up over the top of something, maybe even have something in your house you wanna put there. It's a little target to step up and over. Good, 10 more seconds right here. Staying here for three and two and one. All right, we're walking it out. Again, this is the portion where you can slow things down. If you really need to catch your breath, you can pick it up, whatever you need to do here. This is your workout. All right, less than 10 seconds for that second move coming your way. We're gonna just keep those legs walking. We're working just the arms right here in three, two, one, go. So big chest opener. Good. If it's feeling easy, you can drive those knees up a little bit higher. Good. All right, now we're gonna bend those elbows. Same movement. Elbows bent about 90 degrees. All right, here's three, two, and one. All right, walking right here, shake those arms out. Next move, you're gonna do a little jog in place. If the impact is too much for you, what I'm gonna have you do for this move instead is just keep walking, but really get those arms involved to get the heart rate up a little bit more. Otherwise, if you're ready to do a little jog, we're going in three, two, one, go. So a little jog right here. Nice and easy. The other option would just be really high knees or just walking. So whatever version of this that you need. You can even just do a little quicker feet, anything to get that heart rate up to your level. All right, we're gonna go 20 more seconds. Oh, keep it going. All right, last 10. Staying here for three, two, one. All right, slow it down. All right, now we're gonna do both an arm and a leg movement. We've got a little 
side step here, and we're gonna be doing an overhead press movement with it. We'll start with just the legs first. In three, two, one, go. Step, touch. Step, touch. Bring those arms up, step, touch, and press it up. Good. All right, that's your halfway point. 20 seconds left. All right, last 10. Here's three, here's two, and one. All right, rest. Good, all right, now we've got some high knees and we're gonna add a little upper body torso twist with that. We'll start with just the knees first. All right, here's three, two, one, go. High knees, just like that. Driving those knees up as high as you can. Now, a little oblique twist with that. Good, knee towards, or excuse me, elbow towards that knee. Good. Here's three, two, and one. All right, rest. All right, we're gonna go to a little knee raise here. We're gonna go 40 seconds on one side and then we'll switch and do the 40 seconds on the other side. Pick a side, any side to start. Take that foot back, arms up and go. Drive it up. All right, 20 down, 20 to go. Ten seconds. All right, time to rest. Walk right here. Now we'll be going over to the other side, same exact thing after this rest. Ten seconds. All right, let's get ready. Set it up. Three, two, one, and go. Go at halfway point right here. We've got twenty seconds left. All right, down to your last 10 seconds with this move. All right, let's go ahead and rest. Walk it out right here. All right, next move. It's gonna be kind of the same thing, but you're gonna do two on one side, two on the other, and we're just gonna switch back and forth, back and forth. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, switch. One, two, good. Back and forth. All right, we've got 10 seconds to go. All right, it's time to go ahead and rest now, walk it out. All right, next move is gonna be just those arms. You're gonna keep the legs moving all the time. 
And we're just gonna do an alternating shoulder press with that. 10 seconds. All right, here's three. Arms up and go. Press it out. All right, let's go a few doubles right here. Go up, down, slow it down, up, down, good. Back to singles, ready, go. All right, time to go ahead and rest, shake those arms out. We've got some side steps coming up next. We're gonna double them up. 10 seconds. All right, here's three, two, and one. Let's go. Step together, step. Good. The two each direction, side to side right here. Good. All right, at the halfway point, you've got 20 seconds left. Good, and rest. All right, next move, we've got some skater taps. I'll show you what that looks like here in 10 seconds. Catching your breath. All right, joining me here in three, two, one, and go. Just step back behind you. Keep a little bend in those knees the whole time. Halfway, 20 down, 20 to go. Here's three and two and one. All right, walk, walk and breathe. All right. All right, so next one, we're gonna start with that right leg. You're gonna do a forward kick with the right, back kick with the left. I'll show you what that looks like here in three, two. All right, let's go forward and back, forward and back. As you kick forward, you lean back. And as you kick back, you're gonna kinda lean forward. Good. Over halfway. Good, all right, go ahead and walk that out right here. Now we're gonna do the exact opposite. So now it's gonna be a left forward kick and a back right kick. 10 seconds. We're going in three, two, one, let's go. Here's forward and back. Forward, kick back. Kick forward, kick back, good. Core is tight and engaged. Almost there, couple more. All right, go ahead, walk it out right here. All right, we're getting close here. 
Next up, we've got a jumping jack or a modified jumping jack. I'm gonna do the modified version for you today, but if you wanna go into a full-blown jumping jack, you're more than welcome to take that option. All right, get ready in three, two, one, and go. So this modified version, you're just gonna do a little step touch. So we're about halfway through, a little over halfway through the actual challenging workout portion. And then we do have a little two minute cool down built into this as well. Good. Staying here for three, two, one, and rest. All right, similar movement, but the next one's gonna be a seal jack. So instead of arms coming up over your head, arms are gonna come out to your sides. 10 seconds. All right, get ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Right, 20 seconds to go, 20 down. Good, 10 seconds left. And go ahead and walk that out right here, good. All right, so we're gonna keep walking for this next one. It's just gonna be arms for this next move. It's gonna be a little chest press. 10 seconds. All right, getting ready to go here in three, in two, arms up, one, and go. Press it out and in, out and in. Good, out, in, out, in. Get full extension of those arms, straight out, back in. Twenty down. All right, go ahead, shake that out and rest. We're going to be doing a little hamstring curl next or some butt kicks. 10 seconds. All right, here's three, two, one, and go. Back behind you. Another option to make this more intense is you can always run in place just like this. Totally up to you. Pick whatever version serves you well today. Halfway. Try to get those arms involved. Ten seconds. Good, and walk it out right here. So next move, we're gonna keep that left foot planted down on the ground. That right foot is gonna go out and in, just like that. All right, three, two, one, plant that foot down. Let's go. So you wanna keep a little bend in that knee. You'll keep tension there. So we're working on strengthening that standing leg. Quick with that other side. Good. Just get a little burn here in this standing leg. Keep it going. Ten seconds to go. <clears throat> Here's three, two, 
one. All right, walking out right here. We're gonna do that exact same thing, but we'll switch over to your other side. All right, 10 seconds. Take some nice deep breaths. All right, right foot planted down, little bend in that standing leg and go out in. Twenty seconds down, twenty seconds to go. Here's three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right. Next one coming up here, we've got some heel taps that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. <clears throat> All right, heel taps in three, two, one, go. All right, hanging with me for about 10 more seconds on this move. And time to go ahead and rest. All right, if we're getting near the end here, we've got five moves left to get through. If you've got a lot of energy left, start amping up that intensity a little bit. Next move, we've got some punches, all right? We're gonna keep those legs moving, all right? And it's just gonna be arms, alternating punches. In two, one, let's go. Punch, punch. As we're punching here, we're just gonna move forward and back. Okay. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and walk right here. Good. All right, now we've got some forward kicks, so we'll just be alternating legs, kicking up as high as you can. 10 seconds till go time. We're going in three, in two, in one, go. Kick it forward, 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 and forward. Good, kick. All right, 20 seconds left with this one. Go ahead and walk it out right here, good. All right, now we're gonna be doing a little jog forward and back, okay? And if the jogging is too much, you can always just step forward and step back. All right, here's three, two, one, and go. So it's forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. Forward for four and back for four. Again, walking version is totally an option here, whatever you prefer. Your workout, you get to decide the intensity. Good. Over that halfway point, we've got 10 seconds left.
One more time, forward, take it back, and then walk in place and rest. All right, side steps are coming up next, and then we're gonna add some upper body movement to that once we get the hang of those side steps. All right, down to our last three moves here for today. Three, two, one, and go. So it's out together, just like that. All right, to this we're gonna add a punch. And you're punching across your body, getting a little oblique activation with it. Twenty down, twenty to go. All right, and time to rest and walk right here. We're gonna repeat those heel taps again, but to the heel taps, we're gonna be adding an overhead press. 10 seconds, deep breaths. All right, here's three, two, one, and go. Right out in front of you, arms come up. Every time you tap that heel now, I want you to press up. All right, we're gonna go here for another 10 seconds. And go ahead and rest once again. All right, we are down to our final move. We're gonna combine that modified jumping jack, modified seal jack. And if you don't wanna modify these, you don't have to. You can do the regular version as well. Five seconds, get ready to go. In three, two, one, let's go. Almost there. I need you to give me 20 more seconds of all out effort here today. Cool down is coming up. All right, we've got three, two, and one. Walk it out, slow things down, get that heart rate down. You can walk around your room if you need to, use your space. We're gonna take a couple minutes here just for a few very basic stretches and cool down. If you wanna add on some additional stretches after this, please feel free to do so. Okay. Reach those arms up, full body, nice stretch here. And take it down again. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, take it down. Good. All right. Now we're going to take one foot out in front of you, heel down on the ground, little bend in that standing leg, leaning forward. You should feel a nice stretch across the back side of that leg. We're gonna take that same leg, reaching for tap of that foot. All right, release that. We're gonna switch over to your other side now, stretching out back side of the leg. Standing up nice and tall. Let's reach for the top of your foot. All 
All right, and as I said, if you'd like to add any additional stretches, please feel free to do so while you're nice and warmed, other, warmed up. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining.